Ready? Uh, just congratulate USC. They obviously were the better team tonight. Uh, we, uh, I was proud of our team, how they respond in the second half. Obviously self-destructed right there before the end of the first half. Um, you know, our plan was to slow the tempo down. And um, we wanted to play about 65 plays on, on defense and about uh, 80 plays on offense. I think we ended up playing 79 on offense, 63 on defense. Bottom line is we, scored, we turned the football over four times, and, and that uh, absolutely killed us. Uh, they did a great job of executing. I mean, we got them in third down along over and over and over again early. And you got to give them credit. You know, they, uh, you know, they did some good things moving Adoree around. And, and, and we knew that, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're very, very fast. Uh, um, but, you know, I felt really good early because I knew they couldn't run the ball. And uh, we were able to handle that. We just, their speed and athleticism, we, we left, uh, left uh, a couple of critical errors, left some guys uh, uncovered. But at the end of the day, you know, you can't we can't turn the ball over on, on going in on the one yard line. I think I think that was uh, obviously the play of the game. And then you run the ball out. I mean, we haven't done stuff like that. That stuff's unacceptable. And we as coaches, we can't we can't have that stuff happening. Um, those back to back. I mean, that that was 14 point swing. Um, and um, I, I thought you know if we'd have punched that thing in and scored. I really really thought because we were dominating the line of scrimmage defensively. That we could win the game. We moved the football. I think there's five yards difference in the uh, in the uh, um, yardage. Who cares about that? But uh, uh, they were the better team tonight, and congratulate them. They did a good job. Question. Todd, you mentioned the the fumbles there in the first half. Um, just just overall from the offense with the ball security. You know, there was a big drop pass. This is kind of some some sloppiness that we haven't seen. From this offense, really, in a while. really has, really Can, has been. That's been the problem. You know, we've, we've, you know, we, uh, uh, you know, we work really hard preparing them. We got some new guys handling the football. Uh, well, there's a lot of drop passes, uh, and we're putting the ball in jeopardy. Um, you know, way too much. I mean, uh, and 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 we've never done that in the whole. This is this is uh, we put the ball in jeopardy. Is what's if you do that. That's why I say that all the time. Uh, you're not going to have a chance to win games. Now you have to give them credit, but uh, what happened on the goal line is we have our backup center in, and uh, again that no excuse, but snap the ball up high, and then we don't get the ball handed off or something happened on the mesh. It wasn't a read zone. He was just supposed to hand it off, and so uh, that resulted in seven points the other way, 99 and a half yards. So. Um, you know, we've got to get that under control. If you look at the stats and you look at everything else, that's the difference. Because I'm just telling you now, they got some, you know, they moved the football on, on, on everybody they played. Uh, you can't give up the big play to them. But even when we did, we were able to get it down and, 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 and battle. I mean, I thought our, our guys battled. I was really proud of Salamo Fiso and, and the defense and how they responded. Um, you know, we went out the second half and we gave up one score. Obviously, Lloyd getting hurt hurt us a little bit there. Um, uh, he's uh, pretty important to us, but um, yeah, that's been the that's been the deal. That's been the the big deal there. Uh, and then just the deal on running the ball out of the end zone. That's just absolutely is well, is, is not not acceptable. It's not going to happen ever again. That, that's 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 absolutely can't do that. And uh, we addressed that. You know, before the game. I talked about, again, it, it doesn't matter about talking about stuff. When we talk about, with all the right intentions, you don't operate outside the system. And when you're moving backward in the end zone, we practice that every single day. And they know not to bring it out of there, but obviously we didn't, we didn't do it in the game. And somebody just trying to make a play, and then we fumble the ball, turn the football over there, and, uh, uh, you know, that, that was – that was 14 points in a very short period of time. The game was extremely competitive early. You know, obviously we were moving the ball. I mean, we were moving the ball and doing some good things. Uh, so I felt like we were going to be okay if we could have got that touch. They'd make it a two-score game, and uh, that was obviously a kick in the gut, and then followed by another kick in the gut. So, so though we're self-destructing when you're turning the football over like that. Coach, you mentioned the. Uh uh, third down issues. Um, a lot of those were medium long type plays. W was there a theme, or what did you take from your, your inability there after some success on early downs? We, uh, 
we uh, obviously were trying to pressure, and then we were trying to defend. We tried just about everything. Uh, we had guys on guys. Uh, you know, they they were they got underneath us, and we st were struggling. It wasn't the deep ball; it was the unders. And so, um, uh, you know, then when we played zone, then the quarterback ran for 17 yards, which was, you know, so I don't know. I, um, I'll have to look at the film and evaluate it. But um, uh, obviously that was the biggest thing defensively in the first half was just, you know, not being able to – I mean, and that is uncharacteristic of us. And, um, and I think it had a lot to do with their – their, their speed and athlete. Got to give Cody credit. I mean, he, he, he did a good job getting the ball out quick. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we, they ran mesh T-wheel. That, that, that's what they ran five times. And we, that's all we practiced. So they executed and we did. Coach, you talked about how this is one of the most talented teams you've ever had. Do you think it's just as simple as you guys making some mistakes, or is there some misevaluation? No, no, I think I think we. Uh, this is the best team we've had. Uh, you know, overall, we're just not playing that way, and uh, we're not. Uh, um, you know, that's my opinion. I mean, I work with them every day. I mean, our run defense and our defensively, we're we're, we're better than we've ever been. Uh, special teams wise, we're faster and deeper. Um, you, know, we, you know, we're doing some some good things there, and then you do just things that just are just uncharacteristic of what we need to be doing. But uh, we're just not we're we're not playing. We got very talented players. Obviously, we got some new people, a lot of new receivers, new people in there, and uh, we're dropping the ball and turning the ball over. And so we've got to get a cap on that. We start practice every day with taking care of the football and doing all those things. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, we just got to get the chemistry of what we're doing going where we need to be. And I do think that we played uh, a lot better offensively tonight than we've played. Uh, and, and that was probably our bet our, one of our better games. Obviously, we had everybody back. Uh, but just the timing and execution hasn't been there. And it has a lot to do with who we're playing. Uh, the team we played was, was pretty good, and they were, they were better than us tonight. Ty, have you been pleased with your tackling up to this point? Yeah, I mean, we, there were times we missed some tackles tonight, man. I mean, uh, and, and we gave up a hit screen on the sideline that's just, golly, we came underneath. And, you know, we just don't, that's just something we just don't do. And, uh, but, I mean, they got some, I mean, they throw that ball out there to number two, and it's, I mean, number two, number nine, or uh, Dory, and you know, those guys are, Juju, pretty, pretty daggum uh, athletic, you know, so. Um, but we just know we missed some tackles tonight, especially trying to knock people down. I, you know, I don't, I, there's no excuse to be tired because, uh, you know, we did a, you know, we, we managed that. I mean, we, we did keep the ball, and I think we, we had the ball, I know, a lot more than they did. I think about 10 minutes more than they did on the night, and that was by design. And obviously, we knew we needed to keep their offense off the field. They got some really explosive guys, um, and we thought we could get to the quarterback a little bit more. I don't know how many. I think we had, we had quite. We probably had, I don't know, eight or nine TFLs and probably three sacks or something like that. And we needed to have about eight sacks, and we missed him back in the backfield on one that just broke our back. You know, so but you got to give him credit. You got to give them credit I, I, on everything. It's, um, you know, obviously, uh, um, um, I do think that, uh, you know, we played, um, you know. Obviously, with the guys back on offense, we played you know, a lot better offensively tonight than than, than we we have. I mean, we you know had a, you know, a lot of yards, just not scoring the points we need to. We have got a lot of drops and things like that. So we just got to go to work. I mean, uh, uh, I remember going over and getting my butt kicked by Stanford, and uh, everybody, you know, I mean, it's how you respond to this. You, know, you if this is the best team that we've had, then we're going to respond, and we got to go and figure out a way to go win next week. Half the teams in the conference are zero and one, so that's that's the way it is, and. Uh, um, you know, so you got to get up and go to work, but uh, you can only make excuses for one or two more weeks, and you you got to win. So, so, so that's kind of the way it is now. It's it's single elimination, and uh, you know, no one ever wins this wins this league that um, um, goes undefeated. But uh, you know, we've got to get we've got to get the turnover deal under control. 
because that that's just you cannot win and turn the ball over like that, and that's something that's just uh, we can't we we, we got to get we got to get a hold of, and that's something that and that's the number one thing we emphasize in our programs taking care of the ball. So obviously we're not getting it. All right.